Hello, we are back in my garage and I just figured out something. I think I might have figured out why this engine didn't run. We're going to test real quick. This may be a quick video if I'm wrong. But uh, it would not run and these were not down. So I think I have to have these locked down for this thing to run and that was part of the problem. Could be mistaken. Uh, let's give it a try. Oof. Um, one thing I do need to look for to see is there's a gas tank in it. Which I don't think there is. I thought it was this. But I'm starting to think that's not it. And it's just something like a spare tire spot or something. So it looks like this doesn't have a gas tank. And that's definitely going to be an issue. So maybe we'll go pick one up real quick. And then we can give this a try. And... Um, Nobody told me I didn't put a gas tank on it, for, so thanks for the help, boys. You're really freaking helping here, huh? No, I'm just kidding. Maybe nobody noticed. I know it's a new vehicle, so maybe nobody knew yet, but that's my guess as why we're having so much trouble. Let's make sure we get the right tank here. It should be in this somewhere or another. Freaking blind to this crap. Looks like we got to do that, then this, because it's still showing all the engine pieces. Okay, where is that stupid gas tank? Come on. Come on, you stupid gas tank. Oil pan. Oh, there she is. There it is. There it is. There it is. All right, we'll get that on. You know what? It won't let us put it on. There must be a gas tank there. My bad. Okay, well, let's try to start it and see what happens, I guess, now. Someone did say I probably have to replace all the uh, glow uh, things there. That light should just turn off eventually, I think, but it's not. Alright, um, something's missing, I'm assuming. There is a relay for that. I don't know what I'm missing. Something seems like it's not right because, um, oh, you know what? Maybe it's the glow plugs themselves. Let's try it one more time and see if it starts and maybe just give it a little longer. That orange light should turn off. I think that's saying that the glow plugs are heating up. And I think if they never heat up properly, then we can't start it. <clears throat> and uh, this would be a really good way to know for sure. Oh. We got her, boys and girls. We got her. We got her. We did it. We freaking did it. We got our first diesel engine running. No training. No preparation. All right. Let's shut her down. I'm going to say that guy was right and there's a bad glow plug in it. But um, maybe now we have something to do. We could try to maybe get this thing running a bit better and fix her up a little more. I just wanted to mention today, uh, it's a bit of a special day for Lord Fish and Lord Fish Gaming. Um, <laughs> it's, today I've got four, 400 subscribers I woke up to today. And I just want to thank, thank you guys for coming, hanging out with me, and watching my videos. I uh, didn't think I'd really get that many. I don't know. Um, pretty unconventional person. I'm not really going to say all the things people say to get subscribers. Tell people they love them and crap like that. I like hanging out with you guys. I like hearing, hearing what you guys got to say. And I guess that's enough for some people. Just wanted to say thank you to all the people who have subscribed and who do watch my videos on the regular. Being a small YouTuber is not easy to get attention. But I'm not going to cry for it either. I'm not going to go out there just to try to find attention. So... Thanks again. I do appreciate every single one of you, and every one of you makes a difference. So, thank you. All right, so uh, that belt looks a little bit warm, but we're going to keep it on for now. This is garbage because uh, we don't need it. Maybe we'll throw it in here because it's a good part anyways. But um, I just um, I was doing a little bit of work on a different uh, file, and I noticed that one of the cars I got that that... Uh, 
that had to clip on and clip off to come off after. That's funny. We already have one of these too. So, yeah, I noticed that and I thought, did I do that in that video? I want to try it and just to see if that was what was stopping our car from running. And sure enough, it was too, right? So there you go. There you have it. Fishy figured it out. Um, we'll get that car running. We're going to have to get some more wheels for it or something, but we're going to have to get some of this junk out of the way too. So let's clean up some of these cars and get rid of them again. Unless we want them or we want to keep the parts from them, but... Um, Basically what I'm going to look for is if the inner body is in pretty good shape and it's just the outer body that's beat up, then we'll take that and we'll redo that because it's just going to be a lot, save us a lot of work. I don't mind redoing the frame, but you know, like I'm sure you guys probably do since you're watching the videos and sometimes it takes freaking, uh, you know, half an hour to redo some of the parts and stuff like that. So we'll do that and we'll see. Um, We'll make some money and we'll we'll try to get that Mercedes all fixed up and see if we can get it in mint condition or something like that now that we've got it running. I was pretty discouraged to be honest and I probably was going to wait for a bit to do a my garage video because I couldn't get it running but now that I figured it out I'm kind of excited for it. I do appreciate how much it takes to put a car into a game. I think that the obviously the type of game this is that it, that was the obvious update and what they should have done. I'm glad they did it. Um, I understand why it took so long, but um, I won't say too much again today because uh, if you've been watching my other videos, I know these guys kind of milk my ideas when I give them to them. They still haven't confessed to it. They, though. they haven't said, Lord Fish, thank you for your ideas. We value them and use them. <laughs> so until that day, we're not going to give them any other ideas on how to make this game better. Because there is some fundamental issues with this game that just kind of make it not that fun. Or, um, not not that it's not fun, I guess. It's more, there's a limit to how much the game you're going to play. Because there's just only so much you can do, basically. Maybe that's a nicer way to put it. And, and I don't mean no offense by it. It's just the reality of the situation, right? Doesn't look like there's more rust. Okay, I don't know. That looks good. Let's get this rust all cleaned up and get rid of this... Oh my god. See the snow underneath us? Some major reflection issues with the snow, boys. But, uh, that's fine. We'll get the last of this rust fixed up. We'll get rid of these vehicles, get them out of our way. We don't have to get it all. We just gotta get most of it for we make sure we make a decent profit off of it. And that's definitely good enough for this one. Oh, let's have a... Yeah, no. I think the body's all messed up on this one, right? Yeah. We're not going to keep this one. There's just too much damage on it. Um, and not enough good things to save. Although the engine doesn't look too bad. We're going to sell it. This one has even less of an engine. Um, body is just about the same. So maybe we'll just clean it up and get rid of it again. We'll push our Mercedes out of the way. Maybe we'll go check out the junkyard. Maybe we'll add a few cars to the junkyard and see if we could find another Mercedes. And we could fix it up and we'll steal parts from it for our Mercedes or something like that. We're going to need an interior unless you guys just want to cl clean do the entire interior. So maybe I'll clean these cars up. Maybe I'll let you guys decide what you want to do. And we'll see if anybody decides to comment. I know a lot of you guys watch this video and you always don't decide to comment what you want to see. But... Let me know if you do, maybe. Maybe we'll change that today. And yeah, it's pretty exciting getting 400 freaking subscribers, let me tell you there, boys and girls. Uh, I don't know. I've kept my eye on it, I'm not going to lie. I do check it out once in a while, but I was a little su uh, surprised when I woke up to it. It's not like it happened overnight, I'm sure. It's been happening for a while, slowly, because I don't get subscribers that fast. It's like one once in a while, maybe two. Something like that. So, I don't know. I haven't exactly been watching it. Been super busy with uh, Queen Fish working on our own stuff, as you probably know if you watch any of my other videos. So, we got Yard Sailor coming out in a month. Oh my god, the rust on this. Didn't look like there was any damage to it either, so we can't use our cheat. That's just more proof that they do watch our videos here at my garage, though. Is like, remember our rust cheat where we take the damage out of the thing? And then just quickly pop the rust off of it, making a fortune super fast. 
Well, guess what? They modified the car so most of them don't come with damage or we can't do that anymore because they couldn't find a way to stop that glitch. <laughs> I don't know that, but I assume it. I'm a game maker. I'm a <laughs> very logical person, so for, for me this stuff's kind of easy. I guess I got like a... Uh, an easier way to it than other people because of that. Uh, an easy way to see it. Uh, but it is a Unity game on that, though, and I don't know that much about Unity. I just know that it's a lot harder for me to be able to use the program because you need to use, like, C++, yada, yada, yada. It just kind of takes longer. No offense, the programming is usually a bit messier, and uh, it's probably usually a little harder to understand in the end, too, because then you're just looking at, like, everybody's code's going to be a little bit different, whereas Unreal, you can kind of look at any nod that feeds to another nod and go, well, I understand what that nod does and why it's attached to the next. It's just more logical, I guess. <laughs> Easier to read in general, so... That's why I use Unreal, and that's why I stay away from the Unity, but, um... I don't know, I guess it's good. People are coming out with different types of games, but... Um, I just... <laughs> some of my worst hated games have definitely been Unity games, and, um, usually for the same reasons. They're pretty broken games. It's really hard for them to figure out the errors of what's causing it and everything in these types of games. Um, yesterday, example, at one point, my, um... When I was welding, my welding uh, handle, I lost it. And usually you'd walk away and there'd be a cord, so as soon as you get to the end of the cord, it reattaches itself to the to the welder. Well, I don't know what broke it, but all of a sudden that stopped working and a couple other features. That's kind of my main issue with Unity. I feel like if this game even was made on a different engine, it probably would have turned out a bit better. But again, that's my preference, that's my personal thoughts, that's not a fact of life. That's just how I feel about it. Probably from my experiences with Unity, too. So if you don't know about Unity, now you know a hair about it. You know, you know a little bit about um, Unreal, too, at the same time. Not enough, but something anyways. But there is a lot to games, and I think this guy's a single person doing it alone. Granted, he does take my ideas and never gives me credit because even though he steals my ideas now, I tried to give them to him in his Discord and he told me off. Oh no, sorry, that was on Steam. And he told me off, basically. <laughs> so, I don't know, I, I appreciate that he's a single uh, developer doing this on his own. I can't imagine how hard it'd be. Like, I only have to do half the stuff because I got Queen Fish. And she's my programmer, and she's just amazing at that type of stuff. So I can't imagine doing this alone. can't imagine what kind of battles this guy faces trying to figure things out. And then just to jump in a different category and try to learn that now. But um, as much as you feel like you have to sometimes to like do everything on your own because you can't depend on other people, you really need to learn to delegate in a job like this when you're working on stuff like this. Because, like, you know, a, a mod... A game mod can take months now because you have to relearn everything that you've forgotten because you've been using 10 different programs and every one works different, but that's the last game advice I'll give you a bud until you admit you're watching my videos. But um, learn to delegate, bro. I'm sure you made a good chunk of coin off this game by now that you can at least probably afford to hire some people to do some things. If you prefer doing the artistic half, then you do that, and you have them program. If you, performed, if you prefer doing the programming half and don't like art, there you go. But I think what he got upset with me for, too, is because I accused him of using assets in the first place. I have seen a lot of assets in this game, and I'm not going to lie. Look, everybody's used them, like, you kind of have to when you're starting. There's just so much to a game, and although we'd like to do everything ourselves and never, ever, ever get help from anybody, that's just not the reality. You do need help from other people sometimes. So, I don't feel like there's any shame in using assets, especially if it helps you get your game out faster. You know, especially if you're a small development team. What I do find shameful, though, is getting mad when people call you out on it. <laughs> 
like I said, I understand it's, you know, maybe I embarrassed him or something like that, but I just don't think he handled it very well. That's my personal opinion. Um, if you're out there, brother, hopefully you get why I'm telling you this stuff. I was once young and all that stuff and had way too much pride and anger and all that stuff too, and it's just not a good place to be, bro. Just not a good place to be. So I think I got all the rest. Um, let's check it again. So it says there's some. Did I miss some? So we probably still made a quick buck off of this. Anyways, I thought I'd just seen some, but I guess not. All right, we got to pull the inside of this door handle off, and we'll get the last little bit, of, little bit of this rust. I will sell this thing for the money we're going to get. We have two project cars. This one. Um, that No, three. Okay, we have three project cars. And we need to work on one of them. So if you guys got a preference, say what you want. If you want to see the... The Mercedes done, we'll do that. If you want to see it done from all scrap parts now that we got running, we can probably try to do that. Kind of let me know what you're thinking, what you'd like to see. Um, I think people really like it when we get scrap cars and then we get the engine running. Or at least we see if we can get the engine running. It's really a bit of a guessing game, though, if the engine's actually going to run or if there's something so crucially wrong with it that it won't. So try to keep that in mind, and if you understand that, you can uh, you can say, hey, let's get the, uh, does this have an engine? Let's get this engine running. That's not a good example. I guess most of it's not here. Maybe there. Say, get this engine running with only two good pistons and a good crankshaft without changing out as many parts as I can. That is pretty fun. Maybe you want to see me do the Mercedes. I don't know, man. You tell me what you're thinking. So, finish that door. What did I do with my grinder? Did I leave it over there? Yes. It's really dark over here. I should have got a freaking light. If we can get this off, though, and finish this door. Which I think we just did. Maybe. I'll make sure there's none anywhere else we can see. Don't see any anywhere else. Oh, there's some. There we go, it's all gone, so we'll get rid of this. Another 5k in our pocket. Back up to 34k. So let me know what you want to see in the next video. We'll obviously we'll clean up the rest on this, and maybe we'll redo this if you guys want. Um, maybe we'll finish this if you guys want, or maybe we'll work on the new Mercedes. That we got running, everybody. What, 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 what? in our next video so let me know what you guys want to see anyways and we'll go look for that we'll go get some tires for this thing or something i don't know what the hell we'll do we'll do something all right thanks for watching make sure you thumbs up if you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed and thank you again if you are subscribed i really do appreciate you guys thanks for hanging out and we'll see you next time bye bye